Baptism of the Holy Spirit through prayers. Father, baptize me with your Holy Spirit so that I can prosper. Let me have your Holy Spirit so that I can effectively evangelize your gospel. Also, let your Holy Spirit empower me to live triumphant life on earth. Please make me an embodiment of your testimony through the help of your Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Amen. Hello brethren in the Lord. Welcome to our YouTube channel, Prayer Altars. As usual, we have five prayer points for you to pray today. You are expected to pray each prayer point repeatedly for at least two minutes. And I see God answer you speedily in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. To continue, kindly pray all the prayer points in this video, then like and subscribe if you have not done so. Please also, make comments and share this video link with your loved ones and provide feedback to us in the comment section. You shall enjoy life to its fullness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So let's go into the prayers. One. Father, thank you again for the opportunity to see another one more day this month. This day shall be my day of undeniable laughter in Jesus' name. Psalms 118-24, Ephesians chapter 5 verse 20. One. Father, thank you again for the opportunity to see another one more day this month. This day shall be my day of undeniable laughter in Jesus' name. Psalms 118-24, Ephesians chapter 5 verse 20. 1. Father, thank you again for the opportunity to see another one more day this month. This day shall be my day of undeniable laughter in Jesus' name. Psalms 118 to 24, Ephesians chapter 5 verse 20. 1. Father, thank you again for the opportunity to see another one more day this month. This day shall be my day of undeniable laughter in Jesus name. Psalms 118 to 24, Ephesians chapter 5 verse 20. 2. Father, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, let this tenth month bring me to my mountaintop experiences in career, business, and ministry. Henceforth, I shall not be hidden or covered by the wicked in Jesus' name. Genesis chapter 8 verse 5, Matthew chapter 5 verse 14. 2. Father, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, let this tenth month bring me to my mountaintop experiences in career, business, and ministry. Henceforth, I shall not be hidden or covered by the wicked in Jesus' name. Genesis chapter 8 verse 5, Matthew chapter 5 verse 14. 2. Father, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, let this tenth month bring me to my mountaintop experiences in career, business, and ministry. Henceforth, I shall not be hidden or covered by the wicked in Jesus' name. Genesis chapter 8 verse 5, Matthew chapter 5 verse 14. 2. Father, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, let this tenth month bring me to my mountaintop experiences in career, business, and ministry. Henceforth, I shall not be hidden or covered by the wicked in Jesus' name. Genesis chapter 8 verse 5, Matthew chapter 5 verse 14. 3. Father, through the greatness of your power, 
Let every ancestral power that conquered and overpowered my parents that may want to sneak into my life be totally destroyed today. Separate me and my entire lineage from the effect of generational curses in Jesus' name. Ezekiel chapter 18 verses 1 to 4, Numbers chapter 23 verse 23. 3. Father, through the greatness of your power, let every ancestral power that conquered and overpowered my parents that may want to sneak into my life be totally destroyed today. Separate me and my entire lineage from the effect of generational curses in Jesus' name. Ezekiel chapter 18 verses 1 to 4, Numbers chapter 23 verse 23. 3. Father, through the greatness of your power, let every ancestral power that conquered and overpowered my parents that may want to sneak into my life be totally destroyed today. Separate me and my entire lineage from the effect of generational curses in Jesus' name. Ezekiel chapter 18 verses 1 to 4, Numbers chapter 23 verse 23. 3. Father, through the greatness of your power, let every ancestral power that conquered and overpowered my parents that may want to sneak into my life be totally destroyed today. Separate me and my entire lineage from the effect of generational curses in Jesus' name. Ezekiel chapter 18 verses 1 to 4, Numbers chapter 23 verse 23. 4. Father, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, let every attempt of the wicked to frustrate my marital destiny be disappointed. Henceforth, my home shall enjoy unimaginable and undeniable rest in Jesus' name. Isaiah chapter 44 verse 25, Job.5, 12. 4. Father, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, let every attempt of the wicked to frustrate my marital destiny be disappointed. Henceforth, my home shall enjoy unimaginable and undeniable rest in Jesus' name. Isaiah chapter 44 verse 25, Job.5, 12. 4. Father, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, let every attempt of the wicked to frustrate my marital destiny be disappointed. Henceforth, my home shall enjoy unimaginable and undeniable rest in Jesus' name. Isaiah chapter 44 verse 25, Job.5, 12. 4. Father, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, let every attempt of the wicked to frustrate my marital destiny be disappointed. Henceforth, my home shall enjoy unimaginable and undeniable rest in Jesus' name. Isaiah chapter 44 verse 25, Job.5, 12. 5. Father, by the blood of everlasting covenant, let there be no moment for me to weep in this last quarter of the year as you defend, protect, and watch over all that concerns me. I decree that no mortal man will say, sorry, to me on any issue in Jesus' name. Revelations 21-4, Isaiah chapter 37 verses 33-35, Psalms 91-1-3. 5. Father, by the blood of everlasting covenant, let there be no moment for me to weep in this last quarter of the year as you defend, protect, and watch over all that concerns me. I decree that no mortal man will say, sorry, to me on any issue in Jesus' name. Revelations 21-4, Isaiah chapter 37 verses 33-35, Psalms 91-1-3. 5. Father, by the blood of everlasting covenant, let there be no moment for me to weep in this last quarter of the year as you defend, protect, and watch over all that concerns me. I decree that no mortal man will say, sorry, to me on any issue in Jesus' name. Revelations 21-4, Isaiah chapter 37 verses 33-35, Psalms 91-1-3. 
Psalms 91 to 1 minus 3. 5. Father, by the blood of everlasting covenant, let there be no moment for me to weep in this last quarter of the year as you defend, protect, and watch over all that concerns me. I decree that no mortal man will say, sorry, to me on any issue in Jesus' name. Revelations 21 to 4, Isaiah chapter 37 verses 33 to 35, Psalms 91 to 1 minus 3. Pray these prayers and shout a believing, Amen. Jesus is Lord. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe to this channel for more videos.